This is just a quick introduction to our upgraded CNC kit for the Optimum MH28V. Um, we've got double nut ball screws, the plates to suit the conversion, uh, stepper motor and closed loop steppers drivers. Fully stripped down, the first thing we need to do is make a modification to allow clearance for the ball screw. This can be done on a mill, uh, you can do it with a Dremel uh, or grind, angle grind if you want to, it's not critical. We also modify down here for when we use a central lubrication system to give clearance for the lubrication. Uh, we also drill in here, here and here and tap for central lubrication on the saddle. And we also do the same on the Z up here, here. We have our Y axis fully stripped down. First thing we need to do is locate the original mounting points and we stick, put the supply bracket on to those points. We use this as our template to drill for the ball screw to go through because it's in a slightly different position. Alright, once that's in position, we need a hole saw, 40mm, just fits inside here. Uh, I normally put a little bit of grease around here just so it doesn't mark us. And very slowly bore through until we've got clearance. Just, just go nice and slow with it, it takes a few minutes to do, and the piece comes out. Once that's done, we then get a 7mm drill and we mark here, 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 and here. Just for the, just a marking for the location. We then take this off. And then we drill and tap where these holes are that have been just been marked. We tap them for an M6. Next we get our Y ball screw, place into the housing, we put our central lubrication system fitting in, put that in place. Get our housing assembly. These use the M6 by 16 bolts into the holes we've just tapped. And initially we'll just loosely, loosely do these up. Then we take our bearing block, place it over the shaft.
So you see they're slightly loose so it can move around and centralise itself. And these are M5 by 15 bolts to hold this in place. Now we can tighten these housing up. This is the finished installation. We put Loctite on all these threads, but this will be getting stripped down again. Um, then we put our nut on for our ball screw with the thrust. And we do that up tight. Next, we get our saddle and place it in position. Reinsert our gib. And let's adjust that to roughly in the right feel. Once we've got our gibs adjusted how we want them, we put the M8 by 30mm bolts in the back here and do up the ball screw nut. Just leave that slightly loose to start with. Get our coupler in the front here and do it up. And just run the ball screw from one end of its travel down the other to centralise it. Right, once it's to this end, do it all up nice and tight. Then run it down the other end to make sure it feels nice and there are no tight spots, all lined up straight. Next, we move on to the Z-axis. We get our ball nut adapter, place it into the housing. And just loosely do it up. Then we get our ball screw, place it through there, put our lubrication fitting on, line it up with the adapter, in we go. Put the ball nut bolts in.
and do them all up. Next we get our pre-assembled housing. Put that in there. Put our nut on and do that up. We do that up tight. Put our couple on, it's temporarily, so we can and use that to screw it down. I have got the Z uh, carriage locked at the moment. Make sure these are loosened off. Put our four M8s in. Take them down until they're just about done up. Centralise that, do them up tight. Now we can do up the four nut adapter. Take our lock off and just run it through the travel, make sure it's running free and true in both directions. And then we complete it on the Z. Alright, now moving on to our X axis. Place our ball screw into the the fitting is leave it loose. Um, we'll connect up our lubrication system. Then we slide our table on. Now sliding our table on. We insert our gib. And adjust it to the table runs freely. Once it's running freely, we take our pre assembled. Um, one thing to note on here we have a machined flat uh, to give clearance so we don't have to machine the table. Put this into the existing holes. and do it up loosely Centralise it and then do it up tight. Put 
put the nut on. Put leaf screw. Do that up tight. And then stick a copper on the end so you can move it. Moving to the other end. We put the support bearing on. And we'll loosely put that in position. And this just goes loosely in position to line up the lead screw. Run the, re lead, the ball screw through its travels. and do up the back plate. Then run it to the other extension of the travels. And then once we're at the other end of those travels, we lock down the ball's ball nut holder. Run it through its paces again from one end to the other, and then when you're satisfied with it, do up these nuts nice and secure. And then we completed the what the x-axis well that completes the installation of the x-axis the y-axis and the z-axis conversion next we'll uh, fit up the motors do the wiring uh, show you how to set up uc cnc and we'll also do a video on putting the central lubrication system in place if you're liking please subscribe tick the button Thank you.